Cat Williams mm -hmm. uh, had an interview recently mm -hmm. when he talked about Eddie Murphy. Right. And he said, uh, by the way, do you know what I'm, what I'm about to say right now? I do. Okay. Not. You do not? Okay. When they asked him about Eddie Murphy being the best uh, stand-up comedian ever, he said, don't tell me Eddie Murphy is your favorite comedian because Eddie Murphy hasn't done comedy since the 80s. It just doesn't make sense. It's about how much body of work you put out. So nobody knows who was beefing with Mozart because the guy beefing with Mozart didn't put up any material. That's why history takes care of all that. I I, you, I gotta say this. I think you are what you continue to do. If a shark ain't a shark no more, if it don't if it don't swim, right. a bird ain't a bird no more if it don't fly. After a while, that is literally what you're living off your lowers. You're living off what you used to do. Mm -hmm. Remember the Napoleon Dynamite's uncle? You said I used to be. So um, <laughs> you there is there is a level of achievement where you get that you can get where you have all of these trophies. But if you don't do it anymore, mm -hmm. if you don't do it anymore, then you're not that. It's really simple. Like if I, whatever I don't do anymore, I'm not. Stop doing anything anymore. You could be the greatest bodybuilder in the world. Stop listening for six months. Right. I, I don't think that people consider Schwarzenegger as the greatest bodybuilder no. these days. <laughs> no. But I'm saying what, you are what you continue to do, what you hone, right. what you, what you, doctors, you could be the most proficient surgeon in the world, but you still have to keep abreast of new techniques, new technology. You, you have to do that. So I think you are what you have to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, I remember I interviewed Charlie Murphy. This this never came out because I think I lost the tape. But I remember I went out to Jersey, went to this little you know coffee shop, and we interviewed him. This was right after the Chappelle show ended. And you know, what he told me, which which still bugs me to this day, number one, you know, let me just go on a tangent, is he said that the next season of the Chappelle show, Charlie Murphy's True Hollywood Stories, was going to have Eddie Murphy in it. Wow. Eddie already agreed to do it. Hilarious. He was actually going to act and, and be on the Chappelle show. Right. But then we start talking about the whole stand up and everything. And I'm like, yo, you know, people consider Eddie, you know, to be the greatest stand up ever and raw and delirious, greatest stand up movies ever, blah, blah, blah. You know, how come he doesn't do it anymore? You know what Charlie said? He said, honestly, because he'd be whack right now. You can't just jump into stand up. He said he would have to go hit the club circuit and do show after show and get his chops down and get his timing down and figure out what the crowd reacts to. And then Doing all that, then at the end, then he might get that crown again, but he don't have time for that you shit. Gotta he's do doing what movies. You, like, you know, he's doing big shit. You are what you have to do. Yeah. I got to go on the road. That's what I am. You don't have to go on the road. I got to go. Like, really? I, 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 I'm not even talking about the financial expert. That's what I have to do. Okay. So, so. That's what I. Internal, you are what okay. you have to do, what makes you go. Yeah. What makes you the thing you are. And you can only be a thing if you're it. If you keep doing it. Would you, would you, would you. Go to a lawyer for a big case and hadn't practiced in 25 years. No, you wouldn't. Right. You wouldn't. I don't care what he was. Is is a powerful thing. Is is current. I'm this right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not what I was. I'm what I am. 